Hello there once again ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another StarCraft 2 matchup. This is a PvZ on the Zelnaga Caverns. My name is Osborne. I'll be bringing you the play-by-play -play on this matchup. Alright, here we go. Down in the southwest corner of the Zelnaga Caverns, in the blue corner, playing Protoss, we have Pyrocosis. And his opponent in the northeast side of the Zanaga Caverns wearing red, playing Zerg, he is Super DK. A early, early probe coming up for Pyrocosis in this PvZ matchup to Zelnaga Caverns, the key, key strategic element of this map. Other than it is the only map on the ladder pool that features only two spawning points. A very early spawning pool coming up for Super DK, and will Pyrocosis see it? He will. He will see the 10 pool coming up, and that will be able make him able to counter it, try and wall off on his ramp, which should be happening right about there. Bam. Just about to get another gateway, but he spends it on the probe. But there's no chrono boosts coming out. No chrono boosts for Pyrocosis, and that's probably going to make him a little on the downside for the worker count. Let's see the worker count. It is now even, but as anyone knows who has played StarCraft 2, Zerg are pretty good about making workers pretty fast. Not right now though. Stick Zerglings on the way, going to try and pressure that wall off. No units out for Pyrocosis at the moment. Definitely going to need some kind of chrono boosting out to get that Zealot out, just so he can be able to block that wall off, that partial wall off that Protoss are so good at. Still no chrono boosting out. There goes the chrono boost, trying to get that zealot out just in time too, because here come the zerglings, six zerglings running across the field, just sprinting, sprinting down the field. Oh god, here comes the zealot. He's out. He's gonna just. Oh, he barely makes it. And then the Zerglings retreat. Two more Zerglings coming down the rest of the field. No gas for Duper DK yet. And that Zergling, those Zerglings will not be able to get past that Zealot. Pyrocosis revealing his counter strategy. He saw that 10 pool. Cybernetic score about to come down. Going to try and chrono boost out the warp gate technology, which is so, so very powerful. And Zergling is just falling to the sword, but he moves it out of position. Oh, man. Oh, that was close. That Zealot will probably get taken down very soon, but another Zealot comes and takes his place just in time. And he is going to swipe at them. Going to chase the Zerglings. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Those Zerglings just run around and get into the base, but there's only three of them, and probes can fend off Zerglings fairly well. He is supply blocked, however. And he is just trying to get that zealot out, but he can't. Probes now make being made, about to be finished. Up comes the pylon. Super DK admitting that there was a nice scout, which is correct. Being able to scout that ten pool was very, very important. No second gas for Pyrocosis, and Super DK has gotten his gas. So first 100, he will probably getting either speed or layer perhaps. Another hatchery coming down instead of an expansion. Pyrocosis doing a when cheese fail shout out to lag TV. If you've never seen lag TV and you like cheese related games, check them out. If you like games in general and most of the replays for when cheese fails are at dtdgamer.com. This is where I also get most of my games. It is a pretty neat place. You should check it out. Two zealots manning the wall. Winter is coming, and in this case, Zerglings as well. Continuing to try to make probes, but he is supply blocked once again. As I think I've said, this was a silver matchup. If I haven't, I apologize. As always, there will be a little metal right here that shows it, but it is a silver league game. Chrono boosting out that warp gate technology. In the meantime, as well, making two more gateways and a pylon. To probably... Think about making another pylon, and there it is. Maybe two or three. Maybe an expansion, too, because it's getting pretty late. And that Zerg is going to do 
nasty things. Layer coming up for Super DK. He decides not to go for Zergling Speeds and instead goes for Roach Warren and Layer. So some roaches will be coming up. A second assimilator coming up. Extractor. Assimilator, extractor, refinery. Always get them mixed up. So confusing. Only... Oh, wait, three. Where's the third? I didn't see the third drone coming into the extractor, but there is three. Layer will be up in about mm, five seconds. And we've got Stalkers and Zealous just kind of walking up one at a time. That Stalker is going to get picked off. Not good awareness by Pyrocosis. And those Zealots will also get picked off, I believe. At least one. One goes down. And the rest retreat. And a lot, a lot of roaches coming down. Seven roaches along with six slings, seven lings. So seven, seven coming down trying to beat Pyrocosis right now. I'm not sure if it'll work though. Pyrocosis giving him props. Props for Super DK. One of his warp gates is not a warp gate. It is in fact a gateway. And that is not what you want to see. Here come the Zerglings. If, if only they could see that there wasn't a Zealot there. They could run in and do much damage. And now there's still not a Zealot there. So they can still do that. But it looks like there's enough Stalkers to try and fend them off. But he runs down the ramp. That's not a good idea. You don't want your Zealots to die that simply. Zergling is going to be able to take out these Stalkers very quickly. One Stalker doesn't die. Good micro, I suppose. Or at least not any kind of focus fire coming down for Super DK. Meanwhile, Pyrocosis has neglected to build any probes for a while. He is actually in the lead because no one is making any workers whatsoever. Which is not something you ever want to be doing, is not making workers. You always want to be making workers up until you get to like maybe... What's, what's the uh, thing for Zerg? Maybe like 85 and then 75 for Protoss? Sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Depending on your strategy. If you want, if you had a lot of uh, high, high um, food work things like broodlords, you might want to trim it down a bit so you can get that extra two or three broodlords. But as it stands, that's a pretty good number to be at at Zerg 85 drones. But he is not at 85 drones, and yet he is not making anything. He's only at 20. What's their income? Let's find out. As you can pretty much see, the only real difference is in the gas, as you would expect. Or not, is in the minerals. The gas would be pretty much the same since they both on, um, you know, two gas refining structures. A big warp in stalkers, and here comes a big, big attack. A whole bunch of roaches going to try and take out this gateway. He might be able to make it. Most of the roaches can't fire, though. And they can't see up the ramp. Now they can, but it's too late. The Stalkers will throw those roaches right back into the depths of which they have come. And Super DK is going to have to make a whole bunch of Zerglings, which he just has done. 30 Zerglings on the way. And another hatchery finally, finally expanding. Trying to get those other gases that you desperately need for those high gas units like Mutalisks. And other Spire related things. But it doesn't look like Pyrocosis is going to let him do that, but there's so many Zerglings that these Stalkers are just going to get overwhelmed. The perfect counter to Stalkers apparently is the cheapest unit in the game. Oh no, those another Stalker might actually get taken down. In fact, even more might get taken down because those Zerglings are just so fast, even without speed. Another Stalker going to go down, going to get trapped, and down it goes. One more, maybe? No, he will pull back his Zerglings. No production from either player at the moment, which is, I want, don't want to say it again, but it's not what you want to be doing. You want to always be making something, doing something. Hydralists coming out for Super Decay. They will make those stalkers into Swiss cheese with those spines and their increased range. Does he have the range buff? No, he doesn't, but the range is still five, which makes it just perfect to stand behind a bunch of roaches, which whose range are four. Another big attack, an immortal out for Pyrocosis, but it doesn't look like he's going to do much damage. He's attacking the Zerglings, which is not what you want to be doing. Down go the Hardened Shields, and down go the Immortal. 
Zealots tanking some pretty serious damage, doing a pretty good job, but down they go, and I believe the Stalkers will be falling very shortly from the assault from these Roaches and the Hydralisks. Down goes the last Stalker, a big warp in of four. Twilight Council up, but nothing coming out of it so far. Oh no, Super DK being distracted by that Nexus, going to get taken out, perhaps. Down goes two Roaches, down goes another one. A fourth Roach, a fifth Roach will go down, but there's too many Hydralisks, I believe. Hydralisks, not a lot of HP, but they do so much DPS. Down goes all the Stalkers out, losing a single Hydralisk. Hydralisks also are very slow, but it doesn't matter when they're already in position. Cancel Nexus coming down. I believe it was canceled. If it wasn't canceled, that's very bad news. Those Zealots dying needlessly. Doesn't You don't want to lose those Zealots to just Zerglings. Oh, and there goes everything. And in come all of the Zerg units heading straight for the mineral line. I'm not sure if Pyrocosis is going to be able to survive this attack. The Zerglings going down, or maybe they're just in the mineral line killing so many probes. Probes going down by the handful, two at a time. Bam, bam, bam. Six probes. And this is going to do it for Pyrocosis. No way he is going to be able to come back from this. He has no workers, no units, and he's got a bunch of Hydralisks and Zerglings in his base. GG being called by Pyrocosis. So, GG everyone. I hope you enjoyed this cast. I know I did. Good job by Super DK to just keep on the pressure and not let Pyro expand and just good unit mixes and typically just, you know, what you want to do as a Zerg against Protoss. Make sure that they don't get that tech, they don't get that expansion. Well guys, I'm Osborne and this has been a Silver League matchup. I will see you later.